right now. You start checking off the days until the next benchmark, 40, 44, 56. And as well as he's swinging it, it seems like all those numbers right now, Boog, they are doable. They all just came apart right there, four-pitch walk, and the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. And a one-two. Ground ball could be two. They put the tag on him, and that's two. And the batter now, Joe Boomer. One for one with a single so far. Now the first base. Joe Boomer. Line drive. Racing makes the catch. And that should get the job done as he tags from third. The run scores from third. It's 2-1. Man, he smoked up. Here's a big power threat. Joe Boomer. Now batting. The first baseman. Joe Boomer. And first offering is fouled off. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. His 66th home run of the season. And they boost their lead. It's 6-1. That's exactly the pitch he... So two down. And now, Joe yeah. Boomer for the fourth the time feet. tonight. Joe Boomer. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add a couple more. It's 8-1. Singing, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. So here's Murphy now. Now batting. The catcher. John Murphy. Two on, one out. On the ground, right side, Chang. Off balance feed, there's one. But safe at first, it's a fielder's choice. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning, ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. 10-4 is how it ends. Roger Dodger, ground beef control. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Two outs with a man at third. Now here is Joe Boomer. Batting four. The first baseman. Joe Boomer. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's down. One hops off the wall. Flores with a relay throw. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. Well done. Drives in the run. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Wander Franco will hit next. Good contact guy, good defender. Get your pitch and let it rip. Let's go. Man on second, two down. And he walked him. That's a nice at bat and a great take on 3 2. Probably could have gone either way in that spot around the knees. Brady House next to hit for the Rays. First and second, two down. Swing and he breaks his back. The flip to the pitcher covering. And that is the third out of the inning. Bottom half of inning number one. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Joe Boomer. Right now the leading RBI man in the American League. He's been huge this season. Line drive. Snags it on the run. And that'll do it. The Rays strand just the one. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back here at the ballpark. And here's the first baseman, Joe Boomer. Leading off for Tampa Bay. Come on, big guy. The first baseman. And he deals. Joe Boomer. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Thompson makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch, man. Bottom of the inning. Here's a speed threat. Magnuri Sierra. For the Rangers. Puts a bunt down right side. Magnuri. Boomer. 
And the bunt attempt doesn't work out. Josh Bell at the plate now. And here it comes. And he hits a ground ball right side. It's in and out of his glove. Throw to first. Gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. And welcome back. We're at the top of the eighth. Stepping in, Joe Boomer. Off the, Tampa Bay, the, first baseman. the pitch. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. He circles the bases, his 68th homer of the year. It's 4-3. Power versus power right there, like two local. Two outs, runner on first. Next to switch hitting first baseman, Joe Boomer. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there, on its way, gone. his 69th homer of the year and just like that they're out front it's 6-4 he came out of his shoes on that well, another night, another win. This team is a must-watch right now. Even if it goes late, there's a rain the delay, extra innings. People are going to stay up late to see this streak Ray. continue. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. And 11 runners left on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. All right, first pitch coming up. And today's starting pitcher, Jack Leiter. Comes into this start third. sporting a lifetime ERA time. just Corey. over three. He's been pretty Seager. great for most of his big league career. Can't wait to watch him in this one. Slow roller to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Rangers. Scoreless after one. Welcome back. And now the first baseman, yeah, Joe yeah, Boomer. Go, and every at bat's a big one for him baseman. now. Now, as he looks to keep this amazing Boomer. hitting streak going. This one is smashed down the right field line. Way back there. Fair and gone. 
With one swing, he quiets the crowd. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Out of the fourth. Now here's the switch inning power threat. Leading Joe the Boomer. The first Lighter. Pitch. Back to work. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He powers one out to right field. His 71st home run of the season. It's 3-1. Back here at the ballpark, top of the sixth inning. Stepping in, the long ball threat, Joe Boomer. The first baseman, Joe Boomer. The pitch. Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Gone. That one felt good. His 72nd home run of the season. It's 6-2. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop. And, they... and welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's a big power threat. Joe Boomer. That first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. Hey, let's go now one time. That one ripped. Thompson pulls it down. And there's one away. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself. Well, another night, another win. This team is a must-watch right now. Even if it goes late, there's a rain delay, extra innings. People are going to stay up late to the see this streak continue. 7-2 your final the here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding minutes. crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Just about to get underway. And on the hill today, Brandon Waddell. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, he's putting together a really nice season on the mound. ERA in the low threes. Not Very so respectable Corey. when you consider. Guys are looking Finger. to do damage. They're not trying to just walk and hit singles. They're trying to hit homers and draw walks and score runs. So when you have a guy that can limit the other team from score more than a few runs, that's really tough to beat game in and game out. Man at second here with two away. Joe Boomer next to hit for the Rays. The first pick what spot? Joe. Oh, Boomer. this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. That'll fire up the dugout. His 73rd home run of the season. It's 4-1. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. And that ties the single-season home run record. His next long ball will put him all alone. So digging in, Joe Boomer. Now the first baseman. Joe Boomer. Up the middle, takes it to the bag. That's one. And it's a double play to end the inning. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Rays five, and the Rangers one. Josh Young now at the plate. A guy who makes an impact not now just at the plate, but also in the field. Bunting gets it down to first. Boomer. One away as the second run of the inning scores. Well, the safety squeeze can be tough to defend, especially with a good runner at third. You can't risk trying to be overly aggressive and make a play at the plate and give up that easy out at first. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. One runs in. Another comes in to score. It's 5-5. Safely into second. He's got a double. And stepping in for the Rays, Joe Boomer your base runner you've got to stay dialed in here look for anything in the dirt try your best to get into scoring position rips one to right base hit lead runner holds up they're at first and second with nobody out that ball was absolutely ripped 111 off the bat and I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat I think I heard that too Boog and 
These are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Rolled over to third. Off balance feet, there's one. And he'll be safe at first. Well, they had the chance no, to turn in two right there. Welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Joe Boomer. And a pitch. Swing, and this ball is clobbered. No doubt about it. There it goes. Gone. The single season home run record. And maybe he'll play it cool down in the bases, but what a moment. You know he's feeling it on the inside. This is an achievement that will define his career, something that's bigger than even the sport itself. No doubt about it. No matter where he goes from here, he'll always be remembered for this amazing season and this moment. And we've been anticipating this for weeks, but it doesn't make it any less special. A remarkable accomplishment in what has been a remarkable season for him. A moment that will live on in baseball history for a long time. Absolutely no question about it. This is something we are very lucky to be able to witness. Well, just another big win today, and everyone is jumping on board behind this ball club. They're playing. He has done. This is early in his career, and he's lighting it up. He's causing waves around the game. We're thrilled to be joined by Hall of Fame outfielder Ken Griffey Jr. Ken, you see him, what we're seeing? Is he a star already, or are we getting ahead of ourselves? What do you think? Uh, no, no. I mean, you know, he's having a great year so far. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we hope that he can continue. That's the, the whole thing is we want you to continue. You want you, it's, it's, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And, uh, you know, hey, he, he's doing some things early. A manager checks in with his ball club. And welcome in. Just about set to go now. And pitching in this game, Robbie Ashton. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform. To second for one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Joe Boomer. The first baseman. Swing, and that ball Boomer. smashed on a line. He can't get there. It's a base hit. And that that'll keep his hitting the streak alive. Three. He's two. reaching heights that very Man. few players ever have. Yeah, when you're over the 30 game mark and showing no signs of slowing down, that's when the baseball world starts to get a little excited. This has become the story in the league right now. You start checking off the days runner, until runner. the next. Here's the pitch. Yep. Runner goes. Strike in there. Throw to second. Ow! Joe Boomer next to hit for the Rays. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Rip to right, base hit. Walls around third. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. And they lead by two. 
Singy, he squared that one up in a big way. So let's take another look at it with StatCast. Dead head assemble. Just incredible power in this swing as it came off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Some exceptional bat speed with that swing. Man, impressive. And next is the designated hitter, Brady House. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Swing and a bouncer. Tosses to first. That's the third out. Three innings complete. It's the Rays two. So now it's the four hole hitter, Joe Boomer. He has, now as they like to say, baseman. light tower power. Joe. Not a big Boomer. guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that bat. You'll want. Hard hit, right side. And that's a fair ball. Franco on his way home. And that's going to get into the corner. The run comes in from second. It's seven to nothing. Picks himself up an RBI. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. At the belt and fires. This one in the air right field. Dean gliding as he moves to his left. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two away now. The designated hitter, number nine. And at first, Brady House next to hit for the Rays. And the righty deals. Out there to center, Florial makes his way towards it. Makes the grab and that's the inning. Back here at Tropicana Field, ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the White the Sox catcher, Eli catcher. Knox. Eli. That one Knox. down the line. And he takes it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Back now in Tampa Bay. Well, we go bottom six. And now the first baseman, Joe Boomer. The first baseman. Joe. On a line, base hit. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Absolutely smoked that baseball. What a swing. Sent it out way faster than it came in, of course. 113 off the bat, and no matter where you hit it at that speed, it's tough to make a playoff. Dahl puts it away, and there's one down. One down. Now it's the DH, Brady House. The pitch. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Great recovery in this one. Early in the count, he looked lost, but finished strong with a nice line drive. Now up for Tampa Bay, Sal Fraley for the fourth time tonight. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two away. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him look in, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So the ring. Now here's the switch inning power threat, Joe Boomer. Right, pitch now, eh? now batting. The first baseman, Joe. Well struck right field. And it's gone! Home run number 75 on the year, and they add to their lead. It's 12-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot. First and second, one out. Now the number two hitter, Nicky Lopez. Designated hitter, Nicky. Kick Sandios. Rolled the short, could be two. Steps on the bag for one. And that's a double play to end it. Well, this team is on such a roll. 20 wins in a row. Tying the 2002 Oakland A's. You know, I came a year after that streak and was able to play with a lot of those guys. And I tell you what, there is some great energy when you're in an environment like that and you just want to keep on playing. You don't want to go home and leave the ballpark. Bryce Ball digs in now. 
batting fifth. The first baseman, Bryce. Runner leads away at second. On the ground, right side. Boomer steps on the bag, and that is that. Picked up, back to work. The first baseman. Swing, and this is ripped. Down the right field line. Way back there. Out of here. Oh, that one got the jet stream. Joe Boomer, the next to hit. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that bat. And that one ripped into right. And it one hops the wall. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. Sheesh. Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have StatCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that Runner. swing. He did it with quick hands, good Ooh. lower half, and just unloaded on that ball. Throw to second, and he's safe. Two and one now, two aboard. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Florial on the move to his right. Puts the squeeze on that one. Runners tag up from second and third. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across. It's 4-3. There you go, nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat, got the job done. And it's scored position with two away. Brady House getting ready to hit. Bounce to the left side. Moncada tossed the first. They limit the damage here. On to inning number four. Joe Boomer next to hit for the Rays. He's already homered in this now game. Batting. The first hey, baseman. Up the Joe Boomer. There's a swing and Get a drive. Up, Get up. This one's got a chance. And that ball is gone. His second home run of the game, and they add to the lead. It's 6-3. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the second baseman, Nicky Lopez. The, the second baseman. And a pitch. Lopez. And a ground ball to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Two outs, space is empty. So up next for Chicago, Bryce Ball. One for three. Bounce to the right. Boomer picks it up. He handles it himself. Third out. We're Your back in a new please. pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 38, trying to protect this lead. And a pitch. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. He's put on quite the show. Base is empty, one away. Joe Boomer, next to hit for the Rays. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Wow, this is... But when you have a losing streak this long, not just your fans are aware of it, the entire city and everyone around the league as well. To snap this thing and get back in the win column, a huge relief for them to start in the winning ways that they had before and perhaps extend a double-digit winning streak. And here is Joe Boomer. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Fouled off to the right. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Stay hot now. Let's go, kid. Tying run at the plate. And that one pulled foul. That was a nice bid right there to try to tie up this ball game. Just couldn't keep it from bending foul. He looked locked in on that swing. Pitcher better be careful with him right now. 
and a base hit on a line. Coming around third is Fralick, and it bangs up against the wall. Run comes in from second, and it's a one-run game. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. Here's the veteran second baseman, Yu Chang. And Boog, I'd say he's due. And he grounds one to the right side. Oh, he gloves it, fires to first, and they get the out. Josh Smith steps to the plate for the White Sox. Batting eight. Here's a 1 1. The center fielder, Josh. Swing and a slow roller. Boomer handles. He takes it on his own, and the White Sox go quietly. Nothing doing for the White Sox. Runner at first with two away. So next to the plate for Tampa Tonight, Bay, Joe the Boomer. First baseman, Joe Boomer. And a foul ball. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. Oh! Well, that one got the jet stream. Next to bat will be the Rays' four hitter, Joe fly. Boomer. The batter, the first baseman, Joe Boomer. On the ground to first, knocks it down, but he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Fastball groove right down the middle, usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. Back here at the ballpark, set for the last half of the seventh, and, and stepping in for the Rays, Ray, Ray. Joe Ray, Boomer. The first baseman. Swing and blast one yeah. down the line. It's Boomer. gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Let's go now, one time. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Right That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, the batter, that's one of those ten. swings where you just Second don't even ten. feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And here is Brady House. Boomer stands at first with one out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there are two down. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And the 2 And a swing and a miss. And that's that. He's two outs away. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Joe Boomer. The switch hitter batting right. Well struck left field. Oh, that ball's got to go. Back there. Get up, ball. Get up, ball. Turn in, looking, and that one is gone. When you have a team that hits home run, this is a huge win. Take this series on the road before hitting. Phantom. Jonathan Mayo, what is it about young players excelling that just captures the imagination? I think because for most of us mere mortals, when we were that age, you know, we were barely, you know, chewing gum and walking at the same time, let alone playing uh, the hardest game there is at the highest level there is. So, you know, it, it's, you know, fascinating to see uh, the game is skewing younger and younger. Uh, I think it, it's not as much of an aberration as it used to be to see someone this age uh, make it to, to the big league. It, it's so exciting. There's almost a, a youthful ignorance that comes with a, a player uh, of this age, which is so much fun. He doesn't know that he's not supposed to be this good at that age, and that's just so, so exciting for us to watch.
Stepping in the long ball threat, Joe Boomer. Batting seven, the first baseman. This one is smashed down the right field line. Way back there, fair and gone. He came out of his shoes on that one. Austin Hendrick now at the plate. Hendrick struggling on the road this season. Better results at home. Austin Hendrick. Line drive, has some trouble with it. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Breaking ball down and in. Did a nice job of just catching out in front. I like that he didn't spin off the ball by opening up that front hip too early. Puts a bunt down. Boomer. And he handles it himself for the out. Joe Boomer will hit next. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. Boomer. Hendrick, as he glides to his left, makes the grab on the run. And that is that. Now the batter now, Joe Boomer. He has, right here, as now, they well, like to say, light baseball. tower power. Joe. Not a big guy, Boomer. but a big swing and thunder in that bat. Hey, be patient. Stay back. Get your pitch. Let's go. Swing and a high oh, fly ball. Up, pretty up. well struck. Right field. Way back. And gone. Another one in his incredible season. So two down now, and here is Joe Boomer for the fourth time tonight. Runner on the goal. Base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. So two on with two away. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit, known for his. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. So the Rays strand a pair. They lead it 8-2. And this one ends with the score 8-5. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long from Tampa Bay. Three runs on 10 hits. One error. They left five men on base. One out, runner at second. Now up for Tampa Bay, Joe Seven, Boomer. Seven. There's the a sense of anticipation in the Seven. ballpark as everyone Boomer. waits to see if he can inch closer to the consecutive game hitting streak. And it's through for a hit. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. Throw is offline, and he scores. It's 1-1. Well, that's going to keep the streak going. There's no stopping this guy. And I can't even imagine the pressure he's under. He's asked about it every day from everyone, not just the media, but just anybody he comes across. And so for him to be able to concentrate, keep on getting the knocks, just remarkable. And I know he's trying to just win ball games, but honestly, this streak is arguably bigger than the team right now. Chopped out in front of the plate. Fires to first on the run. They get him, but it was pretty close. Now batting. Here's Wander Franco. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Now one out to right. Brings it in, and that's the inning. Joe Boomer next to hit for the Rays. Now batting. First baseman. Joe Boomer. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. A towering home run. Another. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's a big power throw. Joe Boomer. The first baseman. Hit well. Right field way back and gone. He'll circle the bases. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add a run. It's 4-2.
And here's the first baseman, Joe Boomer. Now batter, the first baseman, Joe Boomer. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, but maybe a long relief guy to not. Swing, and this is ripped down the right field line. Way back there, out of here. He made him pay for that one. His third home run of the game, and they tack on to their lead. It's 9-2. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. Batting seven, the first baseman, Joe Boomer. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. Another one in his incredible season. And they slice. Ready to go, bottom four. Now here's the switch inning power Boomer threat, Ray. Joe Boomer. The first baseman, Joe. Towards Boomer. first. He'll do it himself. Oh. One up, one down. And today is draft day, singing an exciting now day in terms of the Catcher. future of the sport. Here's the third baseman, Curtis Mead, one for three. The third baseman, Curtis Mead. Swing and a line drive caught. Now at the plate, Joe Boomer. Up next for Tampa Bay, the first baseman. And that one hammered Boomer. on its way. And it is gone. He leaves the yard to right. His so up next, Curtis Mead. Now that first baseman, guys out there, huh? Curtis. And it's second. Mead. To the right side. Steps on first for the out. Now batter. Joe Boomer next to hit for the Rays. Now batting. First baseman. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. He's putting on quite the show. So they're down to their final out. Joe Boomer Up the next to hit. The first baseman. Joe Boomer. That one is absolutely go, go, belted. Go, go, go. Way back there. Out of here. His fourth home run of the game. And we are starting over. It's 10 10. Wow, this is... And we've seen how the fans are taking to this young star. What about the veteran players around him? I'm so curious. How do they react to a rising star in their midst? What's the vibe around him in the cage during batting practice? Well, the, the vibe mm -hmm. is that everybody wants to see this young man hit. Um, I think that's the thing. Like, you know, you see the veterans, if they they come out early. Because usually the veterans, you know, they... they come out you know late in the bp but if they know that this is a a young man that is uh taking steps in the right direction and uh, growing the game uh they want to come out and see him because you know we're all fans first it, it's not like you know we're not you know we're there to compete but you know when you see a guy that's special you want to see him